Welcome to Mixing Studies, the prolonged APTT. We have the following take-home points. Evaluate a prolonged APTT with an APTT mixing study. The mixing study will clarify deficiency versus inhibitor. An isolated prolonged APTT is due to an intrinsic pathway defect. It is important to note that the APTT evaluates both the intrinsic and common pathways of coagulation. To review, the intrinsic pathway begins with a contact-dependent factor 12, which in the presence of high molecular weight kininogen and percalacrine, is activated to 12A. 12A, in the presence of calcium, activates factor 11 to 11A. 11A activates factor 9 to 9A. 9A has as its cofactor 8A, which helps factor 9A activate 10 to 10A. 10A and its cofactor 5A activate prothrombin factor 2 to thrombin. Thrombin cleaves fibrinogen to fibrin, and fibrin monomers combine to make fibrin strands, which are then crosslinked by 13A to make a strong fibrin clot. The pathway from factor 12 activation to factor 8 is historically known as the intrinsic pathway. Deficiencies or inhibitors of intrinsic pathway factors will cause an isolated prolonged APTT. The common pathway factors are 10, 5, prothrombin, and fibrinogen. A deficiency or inhibitor of one or more of these factors will prolong both the PT and APTT. To evaluate a prolonged APTT, first perform an APTT mixing study. The APTT mixing study has both the patient plasma with the prolonged APTT and control plasma with the normal APTT. The patient plasma and control plasma are combined in a one-to-one -one mix with equal parts patient plasma and control plasma. The APTT corrects when there is a deficiency state. The APTT remains prolonged when there is an inhibitor. The second step in evaluating a prolonged APTT is to investigate the cause. To do this, we return to our concept map of the coagulation cascade. When there is an isolated prolonged APTT, the defect is in the intrinsic pathway. An isolated prolonged APTT can be seen with hemophilia A due to a congenital or acquired deficiency in factor 8. It can be seen with hemophilia B due to a congenital deficiency of factor 9. It can be seen with factor 11 deficiency, usually due to a congenital deficiency of factor 11. It is sometimes seen in von Willebrand disease when there is moderate or severe deficiency of factor 8. Deficiencies of intrinsic pathway factors 8, 9, and 11 can cause severe bleeding. However, intrinsic pathway factor deficiencies not associated with bleeding include deficiencies of high molecular weight kininogen, precalacrine, and factor 12. One cause of an isolated prolonged APTT that is associated with thrombosis is a lupus anticoagulant, which does not affect any intrinsic pathway factors, but inhibits phospholipids in the test tube. Finally, there is unfractionated heparin, the most common cause of APTT prolongation in hospitalized patients. Heparin actually affects both factors 10 and 2, which are common pathway factors. So in reality, Heparin prolongs both the APTT and PT. However, most PT reagents contain heparin binders, which cancel out the effects of heparin on the PT. For this reason, heparin will only prolong the PT when it is super therapeutic. In summary, evaluate a prolonged APTT with an APTT mixing study. The mixing study will clarify deficiency versus inhibitor. An isolated prolonged APTT is due to an intrinsic pathway defect. This ends our video, Mixing Studies, the Prolonged APTT.